Beautiful. Being a 51-year-old man, successful, had multiple careers. For all of the dreamers, for all of the people who are sitting in an office, working at a job that they know, I want more. I have a burning desire in my heart to do something more. And I actually even know what it is. But maybe I feel I'm too old. Maybe I feel I'm past my prime. I have a mortgage, kid, wife, bills, life. What advice would you give to that person? Not the person who's in high school, not the person who's just starting out. I'm talking about the person who's been on that job that might think that it's over for them. Yeah, I think someone said something to me that was profound the other day. I forgot who I was speaking to, but they said, you have to look at life as a book and it having chapters. I think for most of my life, I looked at it as one big chapter. You know, most of us say, hey, like you said, we're going to do this till we're 60, we retire, that's it. Um, and I never looked at it that way, but when I look back at it, I've, I've, I've treated life as chapters. Now, we got to be careful because there's a fine line between those people to just hop around and never settle down and, 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 and focus on anything. But I think we all know that person, that grandma, that grandfather, that uncle, that aunt, who's like, who is bitter, who is upset with the sacrifices they made and maybe look at you like, I could have did that, but dot, 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 dot. I could have did, but I, and I don't want to be that person. And I don't think you don't want to live with regret. Um, so you have to close out, you know, we, we live in this society where we have these boxes and it sounds cliche, but we have all of these pre-made maps that this is the way you're supposed to do it. Go to high school, go to college, get a degree, do this and you will have this. And I remember being in, I don't know what class I was in, an active teacher was like, you know, back in the day, they was like, okay, do this and you can make these little, you can make VCRs and be a millionaire. VCRs are obsolete now. So now, you know, all that training you did, what are you gonna do with that? So I think we have to be careful about looking at other people's roadmaps for our lives. Yes, there is a roadmap that you need or sometimes you don't need a roadmap, but I truly believe um, and one of the things my acting teacher used to make us do, we would come in class, they would give us a coloring book. And we would have to get on the floor with a whole bunch of crayons and color a kid's coloring book. And she did that because she said, I want you to return to your kid self. I want you to dream. I want you to have fun. I don't want you to have fears. I want you to just breathe and live life. And I think if we can all return back to that kid self, I mean, right now you tell somebody you want to do something, you tell somebody your dream, they're going to shoot it down. Yep. Make you doubt yourself. But I was a person who, shit, yeah, I want to go to the NFL. Okay, no, now I want to be a lifeguard. Oh no, I'm a Marine. Oh, I want to be a firefighter. No, I'm dancing. Like I'm following my dreams. Like, I don't care if you tease me, say that's gay or it's not gonna happen or I didn't get the audition. I'm gonna continue to dream. And I think one of the things that always made me a dreamer was probably not having a mother and a father. So I was always thinking or believe, I remember I used to be like, can I just be a superhero? Just escape this, you know? So I was always dreaming of how to escape there's the, the, not really the poverty because my family made sure I had everything I needed, but it was just but at the materialistic poverty, um, the things I thought I needed to have, I, you know, just the pain of not having parents. I was always dreaming of how do I escape this? 
Um, and that dreaming just stayed with me as I grew. Um, so I would tell everybody, we all have dreams. I mean, even if it's, uh, I meet people now who just make quilts. I don't care if you make an eggnog and, and selling it or a quilt or taking care of cats or opening up a hot dog business. We have dreams. What happened to your dreams? We can't say that I have a son or I have a daughter, I have a wife. Yes, that only makes it harder. That doesn't swallow up your dream. It's still there. Now you have a choice. You're gonna work harder to pursue it or you're gonna give in or acquiesce. Um, it, I, I just don't believe in giving in and giving up. I, I have to try every single avenue and I gotta get what I want. That's, I'm, I'm getting it. So it's gonna happen some way. Um, and, I, and it's great that you asked that question because I had this dude in my acting class um, and I remember Denzel speaking to both of us when we got out and this dude was bad. And I remember one day on Wall Street, 48th and Park, and I see him walking and I'm like, oh, snap, such and such, how you doing? And he's like, oh, how you doing? I'm like, are you still acting? He's like, oh, no, man, I'm not. And it just broke my heart seeing him doing the Wall Street thing now, knowing how talented he was. But for some reason, he didn't pursue that dream. Yeah. And I think it's really important not only to pursue your dreams, but surround yourself with dreamers. Because I can tell you right now, when I was in Susan Batson's class from 6 to 4 a.m., Rob Morgan was in there. I don't know if you know who he is. He's doing everything right now. Tobias was in there. Uh, there's so many black men and women that was in that class with me that were dreaming and they're out and they're successful right now. But what do we all have in common? We were in a class dreaming together. And, and not saying you can't dream along with a whole bunch of non-dreamers, but it's definitely going to be harder. So surround yourself with some like-minded people that have, and I'm not, you know, it's not even just black and white. It's just the ideology. It's the mindset. And if you surround yourself with those type of people, I think you have, it's very hard for you to fail. Beautiful, beautiful. Well said. Besides seeing you on TV every week, where can my audience find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at HishamTaufik.com or Hisham Taufik. You can find me on his, uh, Instagram at Hisham Taufik. You can find me on Facebook at Hisham Taufik. But Instagram is my playground mostly. Um, but that, that's where you can find me. Or you can probably catch me walking around Harlem sometimes. <laughs> Hisham, you, you do realize your name is not Greg or Anthony, right? Absolutely. You got to spell that out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well i'm gonna I'm spell it out and give you another story i haven't told many people so he you spell it h-i-s-h-a-m and i'll tell you a joke that lets people really remember his ham and i say that because when i was in high school junior high school i was muslim had my kufir on my garb and everything i'm in an english class and the English teacher writes on the board, his ham is burnt. And being dark skinned, everybody just connected it. And I remember getting teased, you know, especially as dark skinned high school kids are cruel. But um, that told me how to tell people how to spell my name. <laughs> his ham. So his ham is Hisham. That's, uh, that's a, a easy way to remember how to spell it. And Taufik is uh, T-A-W-F-I-Q. Hisham Hafiq, I salute you. Thank I you. Thank brother. you. Um, I'm so happy you gave us this time and dropped so many life gems. Uh, really planted so many seeds that I'm sure our audience is going to walk away from and learn from your story and be empowered in their own. I thank you, my brother. I appreciate the service that you have given over the course of your life. And you are a true power move maker. Thank you.
Thank you, brother. Thank you for creating a platform so we can uh, share our stories and inspire. Absolutely. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.